We're live for the Power Chat series. Today we have Jaden it on Team Heartland South representing for the post show of the Ozark Mountain Nationals. Jaden, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Good. Excited to have you on the show. So you took home the big prize and um, performed really well for it being your first time at the Ozark Nationals. They give a lot of money for whoever comes out on top. So tell me a little bit more about how you did and what it took to get there. Um, so I um, fought in the lightweight division for the women. Um, we had about six comp competitors in that division. Um, so I had two fights um, to start off with, and then and we did the second play. Sorry, I think my Wi-Fi is really bad, and I think it is me, actually, because it was going in the red bars. Um, give me one second. It'll kind of reboot. For I think I just have a lot of devices semifinal on. semifinal fight, um, and then I... Right. Let's see. I'm not sure if it's still me. Let's see. It's going to be... Sorry. Oh no, it might be her because she jumped off. Let's see. Um, give me one second. Technical difficulties. I'm gonna message her on Facebook. Okay. If you're watching, let me know how my feed is coming. Like, can you hear me properly? Just like a yes or no. Um, All right, I think your B dropped. Let's try this again. Um, possibly use data, not Wi-Fi question mark. Let's try, maybe that'll help. Okay, well, um, while I we wait for Jaden to come back on, she's gonna probably rejoin any minute now. So this tournament, just to recap, um, I was looking through the feed and all the mentions of the Ozark Mountain Nationals, again, which was hosted by Richard Osborne Jr. in Springfield, Missouri. Um, this is one that uh, I know, because I'm part of the chats that he really uh, tries to get feedback leading up to the tournament. Uh, to figure out what the competitor, what the customer really wants. And I know that I'm part of the Ozark Mountain Nationals women's um, Facebook chat, and he's constantly checking in um, about what it is that some of those competitors really want. And I have Jaden back on in the queue, so I'm going to bring her back in as I was filling some time. She's going to come in in just a couple seconds. Okay. All right, Jaden. Glad to have you back. I was just talking about um, kind of the feedback that uh, the promoter tries to get to make it a good tournament. But when you dropped off, you were saying how there were six women in the lightweight division. And then where did it go from there? Okay. I... Jaden, can you hear me? Jaden, can you hear me? I think, I don't know if it's mine because now I have the five bars of green. Um, this is going to be, let's see, problem. We can't get our guests to talk about her, her experience. <sighs> All right, can you guys hear me for the three people that are on? Just give me some feedback. I know that you're, well, I, I can see that you guys are looking um, at this feed. If you can just comment in there, like, am I moving? Okay, thank you. That's all I needed. If it was me or her, um, you can see me and I'm moving. I appreciate it, Angel. Um, so I think it is her Wi-Fi. So I will keep talking. 
Um, I do know, speaking of Angel Diaz, uh, he performed also really well. I know that you were on the podcast. Um, you were on a podcast recently to talk about the Ozark Mountain Nationals. And so, which means that you took home another win too. Uh, when I was looking through the feed, I believe Zach Widener took a lightweight win home. It was a two day event. So um, let's see. Yeah. Okay, good. So he's confirming that her Wi-Fi is not the best, but um, yeah, if it was a two day event, Angel, do you want to put in, throw into the comments how you did? Um, even if I know it's a little short, we can get some feedback in here while we wait for her. She's coming in. She's in the queue again. Okay. Uh, okay. I see that she's maybe switched to a phone possibly um, for, I have, I have hope. I have, I have hope because I can hear you. Okay. Jaden, I can hear you. Can you talk? Oh, yes. I seems like it's working now. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So Angel was a judge actually. So we were just chatting in the comments while we were waiting for you to come back. Kevin won overall grands who I just had on the show. Cool. All right, Jaden, now that we have you, let's recap how you did. So it was six women in the lightweight division. Obviously, you went through there. What came next? Um, so after I fought Avery Sutter on stage, um, I won that fight. And then I moved on to fight the winner of the um, the weight class above me who fought the um, the 35 plus winner. So Brianna Nurse won that. So we fought each other for the final fight for the woman. Um, and mm. that fight, it was um, a tough fight. I was down two points in the beginning. I got injured. Um, we came back, um, tied up the score, got a little bit of a lead. Brianna also got hurt. Um, so it was just a really challenging fight for both of us. You know, we both overcame some injuries that we had to work through through the fight. Um, and then it comes down to the last few seconds. I'm up by one and she ties the fight up. So we okay. got and it was really intense last few seconds of the fight. Um, and I ended up scoring that last point to win it in overtime. Amazing. Back and forth fight. Seemed like it was a difficult one. And both of you guys, I've seen both of you fight. You guys are heavy hitters, too. Like, it, it must have been an entertaining um, fight. Oh, yeah. I def definitely being inside the fight, it was entertaining for me. Um, we both were being patient, taking our time with it, scoring one point at a time. Um, not rushing anything and just being smart about the way that we were fighting one another. And we've fought each other a few times this year and it's been close every time. So it's always an interesting one for me. i um, just trying to figure out where the fight's going to go and um, just trying to come out victorious at the end of it. Now, $2,000 is no small amount of money. Uh, tell me more about the pressure that you were feeling a little bit on stage, the external pressures, not just the desire to win. Yeah. Well, I've, you know, I was coached by Angel for that fight and you interviewed him before. So, you know what he says about pressure. And, you know, I've definitely had to hear about that before. So I wasn't really too worried about the pressure of winning the money. Um, I kind of had this, there's no other option but to win mindset going into it. And I knew that it was something that I could do, um, something that I've been training for, something I was definitely prepared to do. And I went into this tournament knowing that, that was what I wanted and I made sure that, that happened. Amazing. Okay. Uh, this is your first time at the Ozark Mountain Nationals in Missouri. You're based in North Carolina, Virginia, North Carolina. Carolina. Yeah, I live in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I train it. My school is Hickory Academy Martial Arts with Joshua Page, but I also train with um, Master Sean Elliott in Roanoke, Virginia. Okay. So this is your first time out at this tournament in Missouri. What was it that ultimately said, you know what, I want to go to this tournament. I want to make my way out there. Mm -hmm. um, so this was a team event for Heartland South. Um, our sponsor is the U.S. Army, and they also sponsored this tournament, um, as mm -hmm. well as you know, Richard Osborne being the inspiration with the name um, because of his team, Heartland. Um, so it was just a no-brainer that we were going to go, and I'm really glad that the team got to go out. We had a good showing for the mm -hmm. whole team, um, not just me, but all of our juniors especially that went out. You know, Everybody had a good time. The tournament was great, um, and we got some really good fights in and some good results. Now, there were also clearly some um, great talent there for fighters and performs and weapon competitors as well. Were you able to catch any of that cheer on your teammates or see some of the action around you? I definitely got the chance to do that. I only coached on Friday. I didn't compete, which is the first time. Oh, I've that's nice. 
Um, so I was coaching and just watching and um, definitely got to see a lot of good stuff. Got to watch the um, Korean Challenge. Got to see Jeff Doss do great in that. Um, got to watch um, all of the forms competitors on stage and the night show. Um, so like everybody looked so good. Um, and it was good seeing like a stat um, forms division, especially for the men's um, grand, seeing all of the great competitors come out. And um, there are a lot of really skilled and talented people out there. So it was great to watch. Great. Okay. Um, now you said that you were coaching all on on Friday. Tell me more. Just a, transitioning away from the tournament, but you as a martial artist, how did you get into martial arts, and kind of where where would you attribute getting to where you are now? Uh, so the way I started is I had a friend who I was really close with who lived um, like on the same street as me growing up. She actually started with her dad um, at a local ATA school when we were <laughs> like really young and she invited me to come to a class buddy day yeah it was a buddy day and like i didn't really want to do it but she bribed me with a pair of nunchucks what? and she said if you come with me i'll get you a pair of nunchucks I oh. never, but i fell in love with the sport so i i kept going with it from there um so i started in ata i competed there for a little while before moving on to competing in mbl and nasca later on um so it just it started there and I haven't quit since, so. Awesome, okay. And you do, I, I know that, I think you might be focusing a little bit more on fighting these days, but did you used to do chucks too? I didn't do chucks, but I did do um, like creative and extreme forms for a while. Okay, I have I have you, a visual of you in a uniform, like a CMX uniform, so, okay, perfect. Cool, very cool, all right. And then coaching, so you have people that you've taken under your wing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm the captain of Heartland South. Um, so Friday night at the tournament, I was coaching all of our juniors in their open rank divisions and um, continuous and um, our boys did junior or did junior teams. So, you know, I got to spend that whole weekend working with them coaching and, you know, we train um, together and all of that just kind of being a leader and mentor for them, you know, guiding them a little bit, um, just helping them out as you know, I'm I have people that look out for me and train me and, you know, give me all of the extra mm -hmm. things that I need to get better. And I want to be that for them as well as being a role model for them as I get better and wanting them to get better as well. Yeah. Do you feel that with the success that you've gotten a little bit um, that are you, are you feeling from them that kind of that you're their inspiration or that you are sort of like that you're their role model? I hope so. Um, like I know when I got off stage after winning, all of the kids rushed to the back with me and they're like, just seeing their faces. I'm like, yeah, this is why I do this. You know, seeing them um, smiling and then happy for me, um, after I win, like, that was just a really great feeling. Like, you know, we're backstage taking pictures and all of that together and just seeing them smiling and happy for me. It's a really amazing feeling. That's, that is a great feeling. Now, Team Heartland, tell me a little bit more, Team Heartland South, how you got on the team and, um, what it's been like now that you know you're captain yeah so um i actually got asked to join um i want to say it was like october of 2021 mm -hmm. um i actually had fought at a tournament in september um and i was fighting in the grands i injured my foot at like in the first 22 seconds of the fight turns out i broke my foot but i continued fighting um, even though I was injured and um, Wesley Lawrence, who's the owner of the team, I guess he saw and was impressed by the fact that I kept fighting, you know, like mm -hmm. spirit and the not wanting to give up. Um, so he called um, Sean Elliott, who reached out to me about Wesley being interested. And that's how I got onto the team. Um, and my sister also joined with me then. She had a great showing at that tournament as well. And he was impressed by the both of us. So he added us both to the team. Um, and Wesley just kind of watched my leadership on the team, like even without having the title of captain, just, you know, wanting everybody to be better and um, just always being there for everybody on the team. And he decided that, you know, the captain role was just where I naturally fit in and gave me the title to go with it. So that's amazing. And it kind of just shows like that these uh, promoters, these team owners look for the grit, look for the drive when they're look when they're looking for talent. You may not, need to be winning sweeping every single tournament but you need to want that you know yeah, do definitely. you is that something i guess 
your philosophy and martial arts and for competition? What would you say that is? Um, I think this is, goes for both martial arts and my life in general. Mm -hmm. I'm the type of person where I will always find a way to make it work. Okay. So I understand I, that. Yeah. Yeah. So like, and I've been a fight where it's like with this past weekend, I was down by two and injured. And I remember looking at the clock and just being like, okay, I got to figure something out because it's $2,000. I got to find a way to make this work, even though I'm injured, even though I'm down by two, uh -huh. I find a way to make it work. And that's how I um, take every fight, just figure something out. Because what if the first thing I tried didn't work, maybe try it again, see if it works the second time. Uh -huh. If that doesn't work, find something else. And that's kind of the approach that I take with everything, um, whether it's my life, my personal life, my academic life, career or martial arts, um, I'm just always gonna try to find a way to make it work. I really resonate with that, especially, I guess, growing up doing a couple of different activities. And for me, making it work was finding the time to do everything that I wanted to do. So um, I think you put that in such such a great way, you know, to, you know, you're gonna make what you want work, which is really cool. So this uh, was a, a tournament close to your team's connection. It turned out really well for you. Is this something that you would go back to next year, recommend it? And loaded question, but if there was one thing that you might say to the promoter, hey, I think it would be cool if I saw this. Do you have any of those? Well, Just I would me. definitely recommend this tournament. I think this is probably one of the best well-run tournaments that I've been to. Like, I was saying that I don't think I've been to a tournament in a very long time where we finished at 2 o'clock on a Saturday. Oh, it's so nice. Like, that is an amazing feeling. Like, whew. I'm done. I can leave. I can get food and then come back mm -hmm. for the night show, be well rested, like all of that. Um, and I even took a nap before. Wow. So a really great day. Um, everything ran according to the times that were printed, sometimes even a little early because things are just running so smoothly. Um, the judges are doing a great job, like keeping the divisions rolling. There was very little like dead time where we were just mm -hmm. waiting. Um, yeah, so things ran so smoothly that it just made my job easy as a competitor. You know, I know where I need to be, when I need to be there. Right. Um, yeah, and it was overall, it's a really great tournament, well ran. Um, I would definitely recommend it to anybody that is like unsure. Mm -hmm. Like I would definitely say go because you're going to get, um, for fighters, you're going to get your rounds in um, and you're not going to be there all day. To do it. Yeah. Great. That's I think one of the hardest things as a competitor, you, know, you get there, you hurry up to get there and then it's like, wait. But this tournament wasn't that at all. Yeah, I mean, Richard Osborne Jr. is a seasoned promoter. And I think he really, is, it seems like he's super mindful about everything that he does and, and intentional. So um, it seems like it's, it's uh, paid off. And one thing I do love about him is that he's always looking for feedback and he's going to listen to the feedback that he gets. Um, so speaking for, of which, do you have any of that feedback, even just one piece? Hmm. I guess I'm sure would... he's going to listen to this. <laughs> yes, he definitely is the type to listen. Um, I guess I would say for our um, younger competitors, mm -hmm. like our juniors, um, trying to get more of our black belt competitors there. Because um, mm -hmm. I think we, we got a lot of underbelt competitors there, which every tournament always does. But getting more junior black belts there, I think will push the underbelts that are fighting because it was um, open rank divisions. So mm -hmm. getting the younger black belts there will push the underbelt so much. You know, there's a lot you can learn from fighting a black belt. And like, because this tournament does open rank fighting instead of open weight, I think he's going to see like a great improvement in um, the fighting of those competitors that are underbelts just because they're being pushed so much. And I think that'd be an amazing thing for the sport. Awesome. A great goal and a great group of people to kind of target and say, hey, what will what will it take for you to come in and, and come to this tournament and then ultimately have great um, domino effects? OK. All right. Thank you so much, Jaden, for coming on to the show and bearing with us for the technical aspect. But you had some great things to share. And I love to learn a little bit more about you as a martial artist and as a person. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, it was exciting to have you on the first time, and I'm sure there will be many more to go as we go through the tournament season. What's your next tournament? Um, my next um, event is going to be a local tournament, actually. I'm going to go to um, the Green Brothers Karate. They're having a local tournament in Dillon, South Carolina in September that I'll be going to. And then awesome. after that, 
doing um, the WKC Worlds. Great. Well, good luck on your future endeavors on the mat and off the mat. And thanks so much for coming on. Everybody else, thank you so much for staying. And I have a pre-show to find out what tournament you're going to want to go to next. Okay. All right. Thank you, everybody.